Howdy folks, it's Shane, the RV Dad, and I'm here at Parkway RV Center. We're doing a 2015 Thor Palazzo today. It's a 33.2, that's the model number. It's about uh, 34 foot, five inches long. It's got the full body paint. It's the darker uh, paint. You know, it's got the beige accent on the bottom. Looks pretty good. I uh, walked around it, couldn't really find any issues with the paint. Uh, all the slides, the rubber looks good. And we'll walk up close to it. It's almost the end of the day. So uh, we'll try to hurry up and get inside this thing. Uh, I've got the air on inside and some lights. So uh, we'll be able to look through it. It is just rained and rained and rained. And it just now let up, still sprinkling a little bit. So uh, we'll get to see if there's any wet spots or any you know indications that there's any type of seal that needs to be updated uh our techs usually look at that stuff when they come in so i anticipate nothing inside but you never know it's raining like cats and dogs so water gets in it's gonna get in one way or the other if you're not sealed up let's go down the side here Oh, and I tried to find the tire date on the tires. These are Goodyear. They look great, but I guess the tire date's on the inside, so I have to get one of the techs or somebody small to crawl up under there so I can see. They, they don't look bad at all, but they could be originals. And, uh, you know, 10-year-old tires, it's probably about time to get some new ones. Uh, you know, some truckers will tell you one way or the other how... The front tires you don't play around with, the back tires can go a little longer, but rule of thumb, five to seven years on a lot of tires. And some manufacturers will say 10 years, but you have to have them inspected. And you know, just use your best judgment. These are your, that's your life, that's your safety. So uh, go by recommended uh, tire conditions, make sure you're safe on the road for everybody. So, big old slide on this side this has got the what is it the rack and pinion type slide and i've looked up underneath there's no sagging or anything it's all solid and then your rubber looks real good various times you know you see that rubber and it's got new screws up all up around it and you can you know that the slides had issues before or that rubbers just come off um, with our inspection, we make sure that it's all done right and the slide topper looks real good. It might need to be tightened up a little bit, but I don't see any holes in it. So I think that's going to be all right. And all your windows, uh, they're the high quality type seals. So the rubber's on the inside. It helps with uh, keeping the leaks out. All the way down looks good. There's your dryer exhaust right there. Looks like a little bit of scratch right there. That probably, that might even buff out. Look at that. Here's up underneath this slide. It looks real good. And your rubber looks real good too. All the way up. We'll open up. Uh, I think these are your batteries. Now that's where your diesel exhaust fluid is right there. There's your gauge. It's almost full. Oh, that's a good way to see up underneath it, too. Yeah. There's in the engine area. I'm looking at the jacks right there. They look really good. You're always looking for rust and stuff. Let's check in the water heater. See if there's any dirt dauber nest or wasp nest. Theirs are notorious for wasp nests. Yeah, it looks pretty good in there always looking for dirt daubers look back here you always look in the corners too oh we forgot to take their tag off a little bit of a paint scuff right there you got the fiberglass roof and the fiberglass caps so uh you're looking for caulk on one spot or the other. It looks pretty good up there. But again, our technicians will look at that once they send it through the shop. <coughs> Camera system looks good back here. 
The exhaust looks good too. Doesn't see, I mean, I don't see any rust or anything on it. There's your hitch. It does have a 10,000 pound hitch. So if you're pulling a big car trailer or something, this thing will have no problem. Coming around to the other slide. Everything looks good up up the side and then you're uh, You have to excuse me. It's still raining a little bit The slide topper looks good. The paint looks good. Let's go up underneath. Oh, yeah Nice and strong on this side Oh, yeah, nice and strong rubber looks real good, too you don't see no holes in the slide topper. Now these slide toppers and the awnings, I mean, they'll get a new fabric if they need it. So if our guys check it out and they, it needs it, they're going to get it. I think that's where your water tank and stuff is. Your filters and stuff are probably back there too. Your TV looks pretty good too. I saw this. There's no water in there seals look really good hey you can see me hi <laughs> I see the rubber looks real good all the way around a little bit of water down there but it's not on the inside that's what matters it's always good if you're out in the rain just come wipe that stuff down if you don't want it to just sit there it's got the uh, pass-through storage there's a ladder that's got a little tray on it it should i think that yeah this moves back and forth there that's where you can probably put your fishing poles and stuff now i didn't crawl up under the slide on the other side to look at those compartments maybe i should i wanted to show you the mirrors uh if you're familiar with the camera system both mirrors have a camera on them so when you're driving down the road there's some planks and stuff. While you're driving down the road, you turn your blinker on. You turn your right blinker on, it's gonna show you all the way down the side so you can merge safely. Now I did see on the front, it's still got some of that diamond shield. You know that real clear stuff they stick on the front to kind of protect your paint? A little, if you can see it, a little bit of it's starting to come down a little bit, but it's all, I mean, 99% intact, so it's not changing any colors or anything. You see right here where it's kind of, see it looks like it's kind of coming up a little bit. I don't know if our paint guy will mess with that or not. We might just leave it like it is, or he might hit it with a heat gun or something, see what that does. Not a huge deal. You're looking at cosmetic little stuff. What I worry about is all the mechanical stuff the slides, the generator, the roof airs, the water heater, refrigerator, all that good stuff. We check all that. It's got a 6,000 kilowatt generator in there. I should have opened that up, but I left the keys inside, so I apologize. You know what? We're going to go over there. I'm going to get over like Quasimodo. We're going to look in these hatches down here. <coughs> This is probably your propane. It ain't got a lock on it. And there it is. Looks pretty good. You don't see any nicks or anything up under it. Always looking at propane. You know, sometimes if those canisters are nicked up, there's a little bit of storage. Looks like you got two 50 amp wires. This is one side, there's one on the other. I don't know what that is. I have to open that box later. So pretty good storage. There's your water system. Your water station, I should say. All right, let's go around. Let's go in this bad boy. Now it is the end of the day, so I'm hoping, hoping to get this on YouTube. And if you guys follow me, I really appreciate y'all putting up with my novice videos. I promise you I do. Oh, nice and cool in here. With the rain, it really cooled everything off. 
We now got the uh, vent open on this one. I'm gonna close it just so it'll calm fly it down. There we go. Nice, fine cabinetry, looks real good. Done it in good shape. One thing I like about the Thors and their furniture, it's pretty soft. <laughs> now this ain't as soft as the last one I did a video on, but it's still pretty comfortable. And there your counter, your little table, that solid surface there nice and clean of course you know this will fold down you can move these cushions in and you've got a little sleeper right here that one that sofa there if it's like the last one uh, that comes down the back comes down and then you put all the cushions down in there there may be some cushions under the bed that'll make that a lot more comfortable for overnight stairs all your cabinets look really good now I lowered down the bed up front so you guys can see up there the uh, you'll have to put a mattress up there if you've got somebody that's going to be residing sleeping up there it's got a 500 pound max weight so you just gotta remember how much you're putting up here children wise or adults looks like it's a good queen size and then you got the net to protect you it came down just fine so I'm not worried about the tracks and we'll put it back up now if you notice let's see I always watch both sides I know you gotta go back and forth you can't look at them but it looks like both sides are coming up perfect and my best way to is look right in the middle and see if it comes up on one side or the other perfect that's perfect now like i said uh we are <laughs> this i wanted to show you this part last we've taken the seats out we are absolutely having them recovered reupholstered uh it's going to have a lot better material than uh what thor puts in some of their stuff actually what a lot of manufacturers put in their on their furniture so I mean, some of that stuff you can just look at it wrong and it'll start peeling and stuff so we're definitely doing that you'll have much better quality seats now we would have done that with the dinette too but the dinette's in really good shape no need for that it might have been already done or it came with a little bit different material than they're used to using all right so let's go up front always remember to put your little pegs back in there when you go to drive and always remember to take them out before you drop that bed again. <laughs> so since it rained, I like when it rains really good because you can go and really look at these things and see if anything's leaking. There's no indication of leaks under the window. The windshield is in good shape. You always look underneath, look in the tracks, see if there's any water sitting there. Always look right here, touch the wall see if the wall's crunchy now if it is you may want to consider looking at something else or consider if it's you know repairable i mean there's nothing you can do with the walls uh once it started to rot there's play there's panels you can put over it make it look better and uh, precautions you can take like clearing out your little gutters and resealing and redirecting the rain or the uh air conditioner water that comes off of your gutters uh, just keep them off the RV is my best my best suggestion but it looks pretty good on that side and looks like somebody spilled some coffee or something right there there's a little spot underneath the window looks good I don't see any indication of it's leaking or anything so no water in the tracks so that's another good indication there's steve he's gonna come and make sure that he closes that door i'm gonna tell him i'm in here <laughs> so let's go back to the back let's look at the counter space in the kitchen that is all solid surface i don't think it's corian but it is super nice and we'll look inside the cabinets 
I found the owner's manuals and everything on the floor over there. So that does come with the unit and it looks pretty good in there. No stains or anything. Then you got a little convection microwave. This is made by Whirlpool. You could probably be cleaned out there. That's kind of a, I don't think the cleaning ladies have been in this one. Looks like they ate spaghetti. <laughs> Whirlpool refrigerator. Let's see if this is just residential. And it is residential. No smells or anything coming out of it. So we know it's in good shape. It does look residential though. Everything looks frozen in there. Oh yeah. Fridge is good. Now you, if we couldn't, if the fridge was broken and we couldn't fix it, this would get a brand new fridge with our inspection process. There's both of your uh, air conditioner controls. I didn't turn the back one on. I just turned some lights on. There's a little bit of cabinet space at the back there. And then you got your uh, cabinet space here for your spices and all your snacks and here's your washer and dryer made also by whirlpool good quality unit i wouldn't have a combination i'd have the stackable if i could fit it into the rv that's what i'm going to do because if you've had one of those combinations you know they absolutely do not wash and dry very well <laughs> Here's your bedroom. We'll check and see. I don't think this is a tempur mattress or the sleep number. It looks like just a standard mattress back here. And yeah, I don't see the tempur or the sleep number controls. And I couldn't find the light switch back here. So it may be a little dark. But just like always, we're going to check the corners and the cabinets. You can't even see it with the, uh, you can't see in there. Wallpaper and the walls are solid. It's like so dark back here. Where in the world is the light switch? In the door, it's usually right over there. We gotta get some light on in here. I can't, oh, wait a minute, here we go. Yeah, well, I guess I don't have lights back here. Those go to the lights up underneath. But the bedroom's real nice, you can walk around the bed. And it's got a lot of cabinet space, and there's your tall little closet there. Hey, there's me again. There's kind of your dressers and stuff over here. No smoke or pet odors. I don't smell anything that would indicate that there's been a dog in here. You, I'm sorry, y'all can't even see that. I can't see it barely. The walls are nice and solid though. Let's go up front. There's your TV. Sorry about that. Now I would crank this thing and check the motor but i don't feel safe doing that and it's got a brake controller if you gotta pull something um that to help put the brakes to your trailer and stuff 79.9 it's a 2015 it's got the uh 6600 miles on it and we do do financing so if you need any of that or you have more questions i'll get the exact specs and all the information that you need reach out to shane at parkway rv center my email is shane at parkwayrvcenter.com or the store number 706-965-7929 you guys give me a shout even if it's to tell me about your latest adventure i hope you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up if you can i appreciate you watching and i look forward to meeting you down in ringo georgia